again we are back with the new topic which is polymers and uh, the purpose of is again to make things simpler very important chapter and easy chapter but uh, many students leave this chapter because they don't know how to cover these chapters if you have not subscribed my channel so please subscribe you will get so many different types of video with new concepts to understand the chapters you will also find some videos which are very Firstly, we will summarize the entire chapter in a very different way which i follow during my preparation so this is the classification of polymers which is based on source structure of polymer mode of polymerization you can see on the basis of source it can be natural semi synthetic or synthetic on the basis of structure linear branch chain or network polymer and on the mode of polymerization which is very important and even entire chapter is based on it is addition and condensation polymerization also you can find examples like this semi synthetic cellulose acetate rayon this question was asked in one of the paper if you will see the question also i will tell one important point at this point if you want more questions to practice you can follow my website you will find the link in the description box there you can find quiz and you can give those quiz to have more better understanding which is based on ncert and previous year questions so it is not like market questions where uh, you will find so many different question which will never come in your exam it is based on your paper and ncert book so you, you will get the link in the description box you can read from there so this is the major classification whenever you read this chapter you revise this chapter always try to keep these things in your mind you should be able to speak these without seeing any of your notes or this video this should be in your brain not on a piece of paper this will summarize the entire chapter now you can see examples of these you can read like natural uh, polymers are protein cellulose starch synthetic polythene bunas also linear network branch chain like network bakelite now we will see mode of polymerization that is addition and condensation which is very important so there are two types of polymers homopolymers and copolymers so whenever we talk about polymerization like in exam many times it is asked a uh, reaction is given and uh, you have to do polymerization and you have to tell the final product then you need to think either addition polymerization or condensation polymerization so what is addition polymerization it can be homopolymers or copolymers homopolymers means single monomer forms a long chain like ethene is there and this will this bond will break here just say this is plus this is minus then plus of this will combine with this it will form single bond and this chain will continue so it is polyethene or we say polythene similarly copolymer two types of monomers will be there like if you have to draw the structure of bunas so you need not to remember the structure of bunas what you have to remember is iupac iupac nomenclature of this compound which is but 13 diene which you learn in iupac nomenclature so you should know the structure of but 13 diene 
and you should remember some special structures like styrene. When you will remember these, you can easily make the compound Bunais. Then only you need to remember Bunais is made from but 1,3-diene and styrene. You will just make this product. The bond breaking direction you can better understand when you have read GOC general organic chemistry so this is more connected with that if you are knowing you can understand these points how this bond will break why this bond will break uh, towards this so these are related to organic chemistry and uh, keeping those points in mind and summarizing this chapter in this manner will help a lot because I followed same thing in during my preparation. So we will now move on next point which is condensation polymers. These can further be classified into four categories. First is polyester, second polyamide, phenol formaldehyde and melamine. So under polyester you can find these two important compounds and their preparation and their structure very important in almost every exam these questions are framed if you will keep these charts in your mind if you will keep i am saying to keep in mind not on your piece of paper whenever you revise these chapters don't open your notes open your mind and check how much points it is in mind because in exam you will not have notes you will have your mind with you if it is in mind you will not feel uncomfortable during the exam so i followed this way whenever i used to revise these chapters i i kept my ncrt book on my table or if you have notes you keep your notes on your table don't open them Firstly, recall all the points, entire chapter will be revised at once, then you can open the book and you can cross check whether you are correct or not. So polyester, one example is of terylene or decron, which is made from ethylene glycol and terethylic acid. This you have to remember. Structure need not to remember. Why? Because you know what is ethylene glycol. These structures you have read in organic chemistry. Terethylic acid, you are knowing the structure. Also, when you will read NCRT book, you will find that catalysts such as zinc acetate and antimony trioxide is used in this reaction. You will not find these chart anywhere. This is prepared by me because I used to follow this during my preparation. I haven't written this anywhere. It was in my mind and it helped me a lot. Another compound is glyptal. This is uh, again mentioned in one of the tables and very important compound. How it is prepared? It is prepared from thalic acid and uh, ethylene glycol. So easy to remember here is terethylic acid here is thalic acid terethylic acid and then thalic acid from terethylic acid ethylene glycol terylene terry terry terylene terethylic acid easy to remember thalic acid glyptal now polyamide in polyamide two important compound nylon 6 made from caprolactam you can remember this structure of caprolactam and how this compound is formed like here this bond will break then this structure will be formed so in this manner you can keep in mind also there is water this question was also asked once water is present here now nylon 66 which is made from hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid now we will see melamine formaldehyde and phenyl formaldehyde polymers
सो फिनॉल फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड सो फर्स्टली नोवोलैक इज फॉर्म्ड हाउ इट इज फॉर्म यू कैन सी यर एंड देन बेक लाइट इज फॉर्म इन मिलामाइन फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड दिस इज अ कंपाउंड मिलामाइन एंड फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड this reaction is there and then polymerization then melamine format here structure is simple to remember what you have to do you might have read in chemical bonding or somewhere in organic chemistry if not read you can remember at this point like uh, you have to keep alternate nitrogen 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 carbon 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 now on carbon you have to put single ns2 single bond ns2 एस टू एन एस टू ईजी टू रिमेम्बर वॉट यू विल डू यू विल कीप अल्टरनेट कार्बन नाइट्रोजन थ्री कार्बन थ्री नाइट्रोजन यू विल मेक डबल बॉन्ड अल्टरनेटिवली एंड ऑन कार्बन यू विल अटैच एन एस टू ग्रुप ईजी टू रिमेम्बर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मेले माइंड ओके नाउ वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट कवर्ड मोर देन थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द चैप्टर व जस्ट बाई समराइजिंग दीज After this, you will find topics like rubber, which can be classified as uh, natural and synthetic. We will see some questions based on this later. And biodegradable polymer. This is the end part of book. Very important table. Like a urea formaldehyde, many times question has been framed, and their use is very important. now we will begin with first question question 1 in polymer puna has s stands for so answer this question i will show the answer answer is first styrene so it is from copolymerization we have seen previously addition polymer is of two types homopolymer copolymer why it is copolymer because it is re resulting due to two monomer units copolymerization is taking place between two monomer units there is no condensation also you can find uses of copolymers uses are very important you should not leave them once you are ready with summary of the chapter main points of the chapter then you can start learning uses you once know, once you will start you will learn them now question 2 which statement is correct so answer this answer is 3 that synthesis of synthesis of buna as needs nascent oxygen so let us see this first option is buna as is a synthetic and linear thermosetting polymer which is wrong neoprene is addition copolymer used in plastic bucket manufacturing which is again wrong buna n is a natural polymer which is again wrong because natural polymer is polyisoprene made of polyisoprene cis polyisoprene you can see preparation of synthetic rubber neoprene and bunine so it was saying bunine is natural which is wrong neoprene which is formed from chloroprene by polymerization and uses very important you will read these bunine Buna N results from butadiene and acrylonitrile, acrylonitrile by copolymerization and their uses. So it is very clear from these points that synthesis of Buna S. So what is Buna S? 
let me show once again this was buna s which is a result of copolymerization now here you can see that neoprene is addition copolymer which is wrong and used in plastic bucket manufacturing so if you will read carefully you will find that first part is saying which is correct but plastic manufacturing and bucket manufacturing is extremely long because it is used as resistant to vegetable and mineral oil it is used for manufacturing conveyor belts gaskets and hoses not for making plastic bucket i think which is used in which is a use of high density poly polythene the structure of neoprene is we have seen in the previous question so answer this question it is first it is made from chloroprene we have seen now next question match monomer unit with polymer pause the video try to answer this it is not difficult question answer in comment box then play the video and see the answer answer is first means a part matches to third which is caprolactam matches to nylon 6 we have seen in uh, previous part that caprolactam was there and nylon 6 was formed from it b part matches to fourth which is neoprene which is right this is basically chloroprene its iupac name is given you can also see iupac name is very important now c isoprene matches to first which is uh, natural rubber cis isoprene cis isoprene is responsible for making of natural rubber and d part acryl nitrile matches to second buna and we have seen just few questions back about buna and so it is simple question almost around few topics if you will keep that chart in your mind many things will become similar that's why i had shown that in the starting if you want to listen that part again you can just go back and listen and keep try to keep that in your mind so whenever you uh, you close your eyes you can see by closing your eyes this way you can gain marks in this chapter very easily question number 5 monomer unit of dacron polymer r so again this is from same part and a simple question pause the video and answer it answer is 2 thylene glycol and terethylic acid i think i need not to explain anything i have discussed in in is starting of the video you can also visit it again and if you want to see it again you can see again it will help you this is the reaction i was showing there thylene glycol and terethylic acid you should know the structure of both then you can easily make terylene which among the following is not a polyester again simple if you keep points in mind what is polyester and what are compounds are under polyester you can answer this so pause pause the video and answer it it is novolac that novolac is not a polyester even i have discussed in that table that novolac forms under bakelite means novolac is a part in the formation of bakelite and bakelite is not a polyester it is separate classification you can 
also find one important compound PHBV poly beta hydroxy butyrate co beta hydroxy valerate how you will make the structure of this compound what is this compound this compound and nylon and nylon 6 is biodegradable polymer which is a polyester why polyester since you know that ester polyester means ester is forming if you will see these reaction you will find that ester is formed i am assuming that you have read organic chemistry so ester you can recognize this is this compound is a result of ester formation so this is tacron is polyester clapton is polyester we have seen previously and PHBV is also polyester though it is mentioned in later part in biodegradable but you can keep this also in mind but it is not difficult thing how you will make the structure you will remember hydroxy you will remember this from the name of the compound beta hydroxy butyrate you have read organic chemistry you are knowing what is beta position this is alpha position just neighbor of COOH this is alpha and this is beta position so beta hydroxy this is OH beta hydroxy butyrate because 4 carbon is there co beta hydroxy valerate here is 5 carbon this is alpha and this is beta beta hydroxy valerate so now one like here ester is formed now you will do the reaction between them you will take one oxygen and from other OH OH and H you will form the compound now next question monomer of Novolac is so it is from the Bakelite part and uh, answer this question we have discussed in the beginning part it is ortho hydroxy methyl phenol even if you will see these options carefully and you have read a little bit about Novolac you can answer this because options are very simple If you will read little bit also, you can recognize this question to be very easy question because this is formaldehyde and this is phenol and in option you will not find anywhere phenol or formaldehyde. So this option is only the correct option. The polymer formed on heating Novolag with formaldehyde. This is also easy question. It is answer in the comment box. It is first Bakelite. The Orlon fiber are made of. Simply answer this question. It is from addition polymerization. Answer is polyacryl nitrile you can read under the part addition polymer uses I am continuously saying once you keep all these points all the charts in your mind your chapter is summarized what next you have to do is try to remember the uses like if you will read here polyacryl nitrile is used as a substitute for wool in making commercial fibers as orlon or acrylane so also you can find this reaction we will move on next question bakelite is a cross link polymer of formaldehyde and again simple question answer it very fast within 10 seconds answer this question in comment box don't wait answer it it is third novolac 
I don't think I need to say anything because we have seen previously. Match the following, pause the video and match it and then check the answer. Now I will show the answer. I'm assuming that you are answering this question then only it will help you because practice is really very important of these chapters also. Answer is second that is for A it is second means chloroprene. This is structure we have seen chloroprene puna N from chloroprene to neoprene. Uh, neoprene is also there. So for A it is second B third neoprene which is derivative which is uh, this is monomer and this is the compound polymer. Acryl nitrile just we have seen acryl nitrile previous question so it is fourth this one and isoprene which is first now you will see one more question you have to tell this repeating unit is for pause the video think over it then answer in comment box and just don't leave by saying no I will not answer uh, it will help you definitely I'm not saying to just increase the comments when I studied during my online classes I always answered the question whatever teacher used to ask whether anybody answered or not it makes study very interesting it seems like you are telling your answer to teacher or you are trying to answer you are not just moving on next question moving on next question like a listening story so answer is first it is of no lack we have seen previously not difficult question simple question so you can recognize how important these points are so many questions has been framed from same topic in different different manner so this is isoprene and uh, this is about natural rubber which is basically cis 14 polyisoprene now i have to tell important point that's why i have shown this here sometimes it is very confusing to remember isoprene chloroprene neoprene so keep this point in mind i have just brought them together here isoprene is connected to natural rubber this is isoprene try to keep this in mind because it creates confusion in exam when you will go and attempt the paper and you will find an option chloroprene isoprene definitely you will get confused and confusion in exam is just like a, a thing demoting you demotivating yourself so you should not have confusion in these points otherwise you will get negative mark it's better to keep concept very clear this is isoprene this is chloroprene chlorine is there so chloroprene and this is neoprene so keep in mind that chloroprene polymerizes and produces neoprene chloroprene chlorine will be there neoprene is made from chloroprene so chlorine will be there and isoprene is different so we have read natural rubber then synthetic so we have read first isoprene then chloroprene and neoprene this will just separate them now we move down next a biodegradable polyamide can be made from this is also simple pause the video answer it and then again see it is glycine and amino caproic acid i had just shown you about PHBV there was also nylon 2 and nylon 6 nylon 2 nylon 6 this is glycine how you will remember this structure you will find this structure in biomolecule chapter so this is simple structure carbon is there and S2 group is there and COH group 
and amino caproic acid again things are connected with organic chemistry nomenclature you need to practice those then it will be very easier at this point you can keep these structures in mind if you have kept these structure in mind you can make this structure now next question which of the following polymer is used in manufacture of wood laminates again simple question from ncrt pause the video answer it and then see the video answer is third urea formaldehyde resin you will find this in this table so it is mentioned here that urea formaldehyde resin structure is this the structure of urea you know and formaldehyde you know then you can make the structure of this so for making unbreakable cups and laminated sheet laminated sheet same as it is same wood laminates also you can read uses of melamine because option was also there definitely you have to think over the options also you can find uses of bakelite used in making combs and uh, phonograph records electrical switches handles of various utensils consider the essential and reason again simple question for medicinal polymers pause the video and answer it answer is second that both are true and reason is correct explanation ethene polymerized in presence of zeigler nata catalyst at high temperature and pressure is used to make buckets and dust bin high density polymers are closely packed and chemically inert this is asked from this para which is very important i have highlighted the important points read it it is used in making buckets dust bin bottles pipes so simple concept important catalyst which is basically triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride which polymer has chiral monomer so you need to know the concept of organic chemistry chiral atoms and you can pause and answer it answer is phpv again this compound has come and uh, if you are knowing the structure you are remembering the structure you can just answer in seconds that it is true because there are two chiral atoms here and here these are monomers so they have chiral atoms because this is sp3 hybridized and four different groups are present so it is chiral atom similarly here also next question which of the following compound is a constituent of polymer this so you have to recognize this given structure what is the constituent of polymer which of the following compound is a constituent of polymer so think over it pause the video try to think give some time and then you should see the answer without trying don't see the answer answer is formaldehyde because it is again from the same part if you will see it carefully you will find the structure it is similar structure it is little bit difficult to just go from this structure to this structure means from this structure to urea and formaldehyde but if you have read properly you can recognize and uh, you are seeing these questions you are seeing this video because you have to become perfect so if you are not ans- able to answer this question don't discourage yourself instead try to see these questions properly so nh2 co nh2 this comes from urea and formaldehyde scho so you can see the structure and you can connect with it also we have seen from uses also question has been framed 
so it is important yes they choose the question and then they ask now next question the polymer obtained from the following reaction is now this question is basically connected with other chapters of organic chemistry some more questions you can find in uh, 2019 jmens questions one question i have picked because it is connected more with organic chemistry like you should know what is the reaction product of nano2 and s3o plus a concept of disonium salts and all that so if you have read answer this question you are reading polymer it is assumed that you have read organic chemistry answer this question think over it if you are not able to find the correct option try it again and then see the video answer is 4 because this is the compound when this reaction will first reagent will react this product will form again this is from disonium and uh, i am assuming that you have read hydrolysis will result in the formation of oh now here at this point it is the question of polymer you have to think what type of polymerization will take place you can think of addition polymerization or condensation polymerization addition polymerization will not take place here definitely condensation will take place so removal of water so from this part water will get removed from other structure and similarly here so this will be the structure if these concepts are little confusing you need to think where is the confusion is there confusion at this point then you need to re- revise other chapters especially what is the end product of this reagent when this reagent will react what will be the end product if there is not confusion here then you should think here you can make the product up to here then you are not able to think what to do here you can read even part of ncrt where different reactions has been given product side been form you can understand from there also now next part here are some homework questions for you you can answer in comment box i will see and tell whether your answer is correct or not first question the formation of which of the following polymer involve hydrolysis reaction even if you have seen my video very carefully you can answer this question because i have had talked about this question somewhere back without telling that this question is for you as homework now there is another question which of the following polymer is synthesized using a free radical polymerization one more question rayon is semi synthetic polymer whose properties are better than natural cotton mechanical and aesthetic properties of cellulose can be improved by acetylation think over this question and last question is polymer containing strong intermolecular forces example hydrogen bonding is so these are questions for you to test yourself these are again from previous year questions some questions are from uh, very old papers like of 2005 or 3 but they are very helpful some questions i have discussed in the very beginning if you want to recall the concepts whenever you want to recall of polymer you can see the first starting part of the video now we will end this topic here please subscribe my channel and share with your friends so that they can get these contents which you will not get anywhere on youtube if you will get definitely tell me because i haven't got such type of video 